it's wonderful. It's wonderful to be here. It's wonderful to be here in Manchester. About two months ago, I rang up Greater Manchester Police and threatened them. And what I said is, I I took a leaf out of the book of Billy Welsh. You will be here later as the organizer of Appleby Fair. And I watched him once when he was speaking to the police, and he said, "You got to do it like this, Jay. You've got to say." The gypsies have told me to tell you we're coming. <laughs> so I tried that. I said, we're coming. I said, we're going to come because the Tories are there, because Boris Johnson is there and Priti Patel is there. And their plans for us is to wipe out our culture. And when we know about our culture, we know about our history. We know that in 1936 in, in Germany, they passed a decree saying that all Romanies should stop traveling so that they can be kept an eye on by the police. Now, if you think I've been overdramatic, maybe I am. But when you've had one and a half million of your people killed by the Nazis, you could forgive me for being overdramatic. You could forgive me for being cynical about, their, about what they're trying to do to us. So I rang up the police and I said, the gypsies have told me to tell you we're coming. We either come at a time and a place of our choosing that you don't know about, or we come at a time and a place that we discuss and we can all be good friends. Now they tried ignoring me for two weeks until Ramona got involved from People's Assembly and other people got involved, local councillors. And then they ran me up and they went, we've got this place called the Central Retail Park. I thought that would be brilliant. It would be like shops and like Costa <laughs> Coffee and stuff like that. I got there the other day and I wasn't disappointed. They gave me the keys, not to the city, but to a car park. <laughs> and we have moved in there. And we have at that car park, which we will invite you all back to, to have a bit of a party. Not too much of one, because we've got some serious disturbance to get up to tomorrow. We want you to come back there, because we want you to see the diversity of Britain's gypsy and traveller community. There are, there's an old, beautiful buccaneer trailer there. There's, there's, there's beautiful vehicles there and, and wonderful people and there's going to be horses there from this afternoon. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to establish a gypsy city within spitting distance of Boris Johnson and Peter yes. Patel. Now we know that they're hiding behind a ring of steel. We know that. But I'm a blacksmith and I brought an angle grinder. You know what, I say stay behind your ring of steel. Do not sully this beautiful city with its wonderful radical history with your presence. Yes. Stay in your cage. Drink your champagne. Make your evil plans about what you will do to those who aren't like you and see how they react. Because we are reacting. They brought in this bill, it's one of the most stupid things they've ever done. For the last 30 years, most of us have tried to get the left-wing movement, trade unions, gypsies and travellers of all different types and stripes to come together and we failed. Pretty Patel has succeeded in doing that. Yeah. And that's a wonderful thing. So I don't want to say that much more because I'm actually quite tired, but it's wonderful to see you all here. It's wonderful to have solidarity from the left-wing movement, from, from Jewish people, from people from all kinds of different backgrounds and struggles because our struggle is your struggle and your struggle is our struggle. If anything has been achieved this year, it's that for the first time for many people, the penny has dropped, that when you use the word pikey, when you say that the jippos must go, that that is a race equality issue. We've always known that and we've always tried to make that point and if Priti Patel has succeeded in anything this year, is she's made that penny drop with the people it needed to drop with. So that's a wonderful thing. Yeah. So we invite you back to our camp, which is on Old Mill Street. It's there, you'll see the caravans come down. We're gonna have a big fire tonight. Tomorrow, we've been negotiating with the police to have horses lead the procession that leaves from down on Oxford Road, I think, to the conference center. And that's the first time in history that gypsies and travelers have ever been asked to lead anything. As a people, we've never started a war. We've died in many, and we've fought in plenty. But we've never, we've never been like that. But now we have to. Our backs are up against the wall. When the going gets tough, the tough get going, and we're coming together. And with you, we will make sure that even if this law is passed, it will never be enforced. We need to ensure, as a people in this country, that this is Boris Johnson's poll tax. People didn't pay the poll tax. People rioted against the poll tax. 
And even Martin Luther King said, the riot is a cry of the oppressed. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying anybody should be violent. We should all be non-violent. We should all be like Gandhi. But if we've got to break things in the way that the, that the suffragettes did, if we've got to make noise, we've got to make noise. And that's really important because gypsy lives matter. 